Prince Harry, that renowned expert in tantrum throwing, graced the Living Legends of Aviation Awards ceremony in Los Angeles with his presence. But wait, there's drama. Our cameras caught him red-handed, throwing a royal fit over his seating arrangement. Yes, you read that right. A grown man having a hissy fit over where he's supposed to park his royal behind. In the video, Harry looks like he just sucked on a lemon as he stands in front of a dinner table and asks, in the most disgusted voice possible, I have to sit here? Now, let's delve into the juicy details of this table scandal. You see, the seating was apparently determined by the value of your table. If you forked out the big bucks for a table, you got prime seating. But if you dared to sit with friends who bought the cheaper tickets, well, tough luck. Your table's value plummeted, and you went down with it. Ouch, Harry. It seems our prince probably made the cheapest donation in town and ended up at the infamous Table 115. Oh, but don't you worry, dear viewer, because we have a body language expert on hand to give us all the hot takes. According to Judy James, the self-proclaimed body language guru, Harry seemed relaxed without Meghan Markle at the awards ceremony. Could it be that Meghan's dazzling public presence has been too much for poor Harry to handle? James even claims that Harry's body language usually oozes nervousness whenever Meghan is by his side during speeches. We've apparently witnessed Megan responding with signals of comfort and reassurance, but hey, who cares about that, right? Now let's move on to the exciting part, Harry's onstage antics. Without Megan's maternal encouragement, Harry appeared to return to his fun prince persona. He exchanged jokes with John Travolta and even gave him a few power pats to assert his dominance. Oh, the drama. And let's not forget how casually he leaned on a lectern, cracked jokes, and reminisced about being a one-year-old when Travolta danced with his mother. How cheeky, Harry. But wait, the roller coaster isn't over yet. It seems Harry's anxiety vanished once he got into the event, as he was having the time of his life by the time he collected his award. Who would have thought? But here's the real tea, folks. While some people think Harry misses his family, another source, a very credible one, we're sure, declared that he's living it up in California. He's apparently been having a blast, and the insider reveals that after Harry was spotted hanging out with actor Rob Melanie, he's been expertly keeping it under wraps. You know, because Harry is such a pro at dodging the paparazzi these days. And if Harry ever decides to leave his luxurious California mansion, he better be discreet, or so the insider tells us. Heaven forbid he gets photographed, or dare we say it, gossiped about. The fact that he hasn't been seen much lately is proof that he's got this whole secrecy thing down pat. Gone are the days when he made headlines for partying hard. Now he prefers low-key nights out with his pals. But wait, there's more. The insider adds that Meghan Markle would rather stay home with their little ones, Lily and Archie. But here's the grand finale, dear viewer, the climax of our story. It's time for the bombshell reveal. The insider concludes he hates this whole poor Harry narrative, and it really irritates him that people think he's a henpecked sap under Meghan's thumb. Well, there you have it, folks. Poor Harry, the misunderstood party-loving prince, struggling to break free from his oppressive wife's clutches. Drama, drama, drama.